hey hi everybody welcome to programming workshop and you are watching java programming in this tutorial we are gonna show you how to get input from a JTX field and print it as an output in the output box let's get started first of all we have to understand what we are doing in this tutorial okay we are going to create a project and then specifying a file say this is our JFrame and then may designing the form and in this we are putting two fields for making the output this is a this is a JTAX field one and this is a second we have to do in this uh, application is that we have to get input we have to get input from text field 1 and then print output in text field 2 so we have to use a submit button to do this here is the submit button okay let's get started first of all we have go to start then open netbean here is our netbean 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 7.2 ok our netbean is now open let's go to file new project choose category as java then project as java application click next specify the project name say output specify the location where you want to save your project I am using a default directory that is C user suria documents slash netbean projects. Uh, you have to take the create a main class so that we can work in a package with which has a name same as our project name and click on finish. ok now our project is created here is the package name and this is the file that we have created a main class output.java the main class name is same as the project name and here is our main method this is a comment ok let's start our s s application go to project then choose source packages and on the output package right click select new and then jform give your give the class name application we have using one package only that is output and click finish okay now our j form is now ready here is the j form and this is the preview of this i'm expanding it 
in the palette choose text field this is a j text field drag it to the j form expand it and press space select and press space to erase the text okay now again go to palette and make our second text field click and drag again it then again expand then select it and then press space to erase it erase text then we have to import j button click on j button and drag it to the j frame for the if you want to name this button you can press space or you can right click on it edit text and type submit okay so here is our first text field and this is our second so let's get start how to print the output from these text field to the second text field right click on the j button choose event action action performed event okay here we have gone to the source you right click on this this is a design preview of our application then again click on source here this is the name of our our j button j button 1 we have not specified a name we can give it by changing the variable name show we can say show button click okay if and then you are going to source see here the name changes show button action performed this is actually a method we will discuss later on about it so let's get started to our work first we have to create a string variable string say t1 equals we have to get the variable name of text field 1 right click on it and choose change variable name here is our variable name here is text field name j text field 1 copy it by control c and press okay and now paste it and press dot get text and semicolon every statement is end by a semicolon then for a text box 2 same syntax we are using select it and then copy it specify the string t2 here j text field 2 get text okay for printing the output okay simply type select it then right click on it and copy j text field 2 and paste it dot set text and give to inverted comma to convert our argument to string and then add a plus sign and then use our variable t1 okay now is our application is ready to print output to run this application go to run tab and then click on 
run file or you can press shift plus f6 here is running the application okay here is the jar application that we that is run so we have to type whatever we want and we have on clicking the submit button we will obtain output in text field 2 type anything say SPSS and click on submit button see it's occur the same syntax occur in the T2 this is how we can print output from one text field to another text field okay this is a simple tutorial on how to get output from one text field to another text field keep watching our tutorial if you have any comment if you have any doubt please comment us and subscribe our channel goodbye